Hey guys, Mike here. Um, I am in my studio. I'm gonna be working on a commission piece right here. It's gonna be a beautiful sunset and I'll be doing it in oils today. So it's gonna be really exciting to uh, get back into oil painting again. And I'll show you some techniques and some uh, palette knife and paintbrush things that I do and uh, hopefully you enjoy it, so. got uh, the uh, underpainting on the go. I was using the palette knife and also the paint thinner that I use in a spray bottle. So I just squirted it on there, sprayed it on there uh, to give this kind of cool effect. What I'm gonna do now is take some paper towel. Yep, paper towel's your best friend when you make mistakes, especially me. Um, <laughs> anyways, what I'm gonna do is take some layers off now. Um, I think it's gonna show a really cool effect of um, getting a um, scenery of a cloud yet um, also water effect as well. So Most of the forefathers and the masters have done this uh, back in the day. What they would do is they would cover the whole canvas with this rustic brown. They would get the white gone of the canvas and then start with that. So this is what I'm doing and this is what I've been taught in school. Um, it kind of lays out the painting for you. Yeah, so uh, keep watching. and the focus is going to be kind of in the middle and the center of the painting, but as you can see in the details, it's kind of like a William Turner-esque painting where it's the light is coming from the back where the sunlight is into the darker tones. Marks that I've created with the palette knife and also the paintbrush, it kind of, uh, it's already, the, yeah, the painting has created itself. So I'm going to go into with the nice softer palette. Uh, colors, pastel colors, and also some bright colors on the edges.
Alright guys, so I think I'm done and I really love this painting. Uh, it is like so sweet. I want to show you all the brush strokes. The beautiful tones and colors of the sun bleeding into the clouds which gives some highlights there. So I wanted the orange kind of to bleed through the paint. Uh, the blues and stuff like that, and then you can see down here as well the, uh, the the water. So I think this turned out really well. Um, you know, the love the underpainting that's coming through. So it's very um, almost like a bleeding technique. Um, just sh exposes uh, the beautiful. Uh, highlights of the underpainting and then you highlight it with um, some more color so it's really cool it's been a blast getting to uh, do this and show you what it's like to paint uh, clouds and seascape of how I paint um, I will show you more um, if you subscribe to my channel you know keep watching peace